This is a Joy of Adventure uh, video on how to pack a boat. Um, we are at the glorious uh, Limpadan at the bottom of Snowdon and it's absolutely stunning. We're delighted today to have Rod White with us who's one of our instructors and he's going to be explaining how to pack a boat. Good morning folks. So in previous videos we've talked about what kit to bring. We've talked about how you pack that kit. Uh, in this video we want to look at how we uh, load the boats. Now we're loading the boat on the ground here just to give you a demonstration. Um, in reality when you come to load your boats they need to be floating because if you load a boat on the ground um, you then got a very heavy boat that will might potentially get damaged moving into the water. So normally we would have our boats floating and we'd load them but that means getting wet feet and I don't want to get wet feet today. So what have we got? So we've got two persons worth of kit here which is what you'd have in a tandem boat um, and in the previous video we talked about the fact that we would have some sort of day bag, so in this instance a dry bag, over there a rucksack, and that would have your bits and pieces that you need for the day. Okay. Um, we talked about having a barrel each, in the barrel are all the key things that you need to keep dry, and ideally we don't want to be going into that barrel over the course of the day, that means having the lunch and stuff in your day bag. And then last of all, um, a either a hold all, or maybe an Ikea bag, full of the things that don't mind if they get wet. So within there, you can have your stove, your water bottles, um, all sorts of bits and pieces, but things that don't matter if they get wet. And the idea being then that um, they stay together, um, but it doesn't matter if they get too wet. Okay, let's start with the barrels. This particular boat has got slots for barrels here, so they will fit nicely in one, that, uh, two, like so. We've got our day bag there, there for now. We've then got our hold alls, and uh, they will slot neatly in the back here. One. On a moving river, we'd look at tying these in, and we'll teach you how to do that if that's the sort of river that we end up on. And then these again can go there. This one depends if you want. If you don't mind having it in the front there, could just clip on like that. Um, if that's in the way of your feet, then this one could go here as well. So we have a nice, neatly laden boat, um, not lots of loose stuff, okay, so that you know where to find stuff, things that need to stay dry, stay dry, and you're ready to go.